inside. We'll see if they can continue that as the pass regained the zone. A dart top of the left circle near the point. Comes toward the net now. Pass to the point. Sposal one-timer scores! May have been tipped in front on his way by Kyle Kelsey pleading his case to the official. But as it stands, it's a power play goal for Easton Armstrong. This game's tied at one. Yeah, it looks like Easton Armstrong got a stick on that one-timer from Sposal on a on a direct pass from Connor Bedard. Unnecessary penalty for the Red Deer Rebels, and we're tied at 1-1. Although the officials are having a conference at the time, Keith A. Dallas Gom, as uh, we get another look at the replay here in-house and on CHL Live. Bedard passes back to the point. Sposal's one-timer gets past Groove and a couple of other Rebels, and definitely hits something on its way past Kyle Kelsey. Turn feed at left point. Weist, his chin straps are done. He's got to reset that or head off. Puck goes in behind the Red Deer net. Bedard's got it near left corner. Bites off Lindgren to the point. Walks the blue line. Bedard, long shot toward the net. Puck bounces down. Save made by Kyle Kelsey off the in-tight rebound from Howe, who sits on top of the Red Deer netminder, who gives him a couple of shots. Howe in no rush to get out of the blue paint. Bling his own for the Rebels in this one. As Bedard comes across the blue line. Slides the pass up the middle. Deflected. Finds its way to Bateman. Has to stop in the near left corner. Gets it back to Bedard at the hash marks. Tries to get around. Set off. Still has the puck. Bedard to the high slot, gets a shot away. Glove save, Kelsey just got enough of that puck to deflect it off the crossbar and wide. My goodness, close call there for the Rebels. But made by Kelsey, rebound to Bedard, chips it in behind the net. Borea Vallis leaves it there, Howe into the slot. Bedard shoots, hits the goal post! He kicked it to his stick and then got a clean shot away, but rang it off the post. Back to Slozel, near right side, Howe up the slot. Sues the left, drops it off, Bedard shot, save, rebound, sits loose, Bedard tries to bank it in off the backside of Kelsey, but the Rebels netminder holds his fort, penalty coming up now against Bedard as he ties up Connor Christopher Setoff, Bedard gives the referee a mouthful, that's not going to change his mind as just 18 seconds into the Pats power play, Bedard will head off and we're going to have an extended 4-on-4 four -four situation. Yeah, we sure are, Regina had a glorious chance there, the big, the big Russian kid, the Washington Capital draft gets draft pick Suzdala really made a nice pass on his backhand to Bedard for a one timer and I'll tell you what Kyle Kelsey's had to make some good saves he's played really well tonight and he had to make a big one off his backside as Bedard showed his creativity there tried to bank it in off the back into the zone Armstrong top of the right circle high slot Bedard's got it great face off dot toe drag in the middle backhander good save made by Kelsey off Bedard Groove clears the rebound to Bedard across the ice to Vallis, stepped into a wrister, but uh, pretty easy save, you could say, for Kelsey. Circle back. One more chance for Bedard, caught from behind by Marinkovic, and they'll put Bedard to his knees, puck underneath him. Both players go down. Hal cross-checks Marinkovic and Bedard, and Marinkovic want to fight. Now Bedard goes away, and two players going after, and now another Regina player Whoa. jumping on it, and we've got a huddle Whoa. of eight players. Late men in there. That was dangerous against the boards like that. Some players have pulled away from the scrum. It all started with Marinkovic and Bedard getting physical with each other, and then Regina outnumbered Marinkovic two on one, and then all of a sudden it was Tom Fard. Everyone forgot about him. He's at the right circle high. Blind pass, one timer, and a good save made. Ballas on a one. All the way to the blue line, gathered in by Bedard. 55 seconds on the two-man advantage. Spoles the left circle high. Cross ice pass. They score. A one-timer down low for Suze to Lev, and he's got a souvenir. His first WHL goal. That'll be a five-on-three power play goal by Regina. It's 5-2 Calgary. Let Regina stay on the power play. Connor Bedard's going to get the secondary assist there. He sees Spozel at the point, and Bedard moments before had tried this kind of no-look pass over to the right side. The one-timer to Suze to Lev down low, but Suze to Lev the first attempt, a rip.